No, I don't think that was really required because the the situation has not changed. The this twenty uh, kids in a school or shutting down has not changed. The mindset of the people in the villages has not changed, and uh, we still have a huge amount of literacy in the rural areas. So nothing ha- there has changed. So I don't think there was any requirement for us to change this as well. And even if you look at the film today, it doesn't look dated because those characters still exist. So there's really no reason for us to rethink or do something like that. Um, I have very little control, and because I'm not the producer, I was hoping that it would have gone to say, various festivals, but unfortunately, they, it did, or I didn't. I don't know, but uh, it did win uh, Avinash Arun the State Award for Best Cinematography. I was nominated for the best director. The film was nominated for the best film, but it remained a nomination. I never won it. So you are competing with Pandri at that point. <laughs> um, see, you you given me examples of a Sairat or a Nata Samrat. These two uh, have a certain background that that has actually made those films work. I am not taking anything away yeah. from the making of the film, but when you have a Nana Patekar right. in a film and a subject like Nat Samrat, which has done more than a thousand shows as a play by itself, you possibly can't go wrong. There is a certain amount of nostalgia that's associated with that film, and that nostalgia comes from people who have seen the play. You know the. the audience the target audience of marathi cinema is not just the younger generation a huge amount of older generation who earlier on used to go for plays and so on and so forth have gone have decided to go and watch some good films so we mentioned nata samrat on the one end and you have uh, sairat on the other now sairat also comes with a big package of pandri being made by nagraj mandile Z backing it up. So, as I said, I'm not taking anything away from these films, but at the same time, content certainly has become very important in Marathi films. As, as we were discussing a little while ago, uh, star value, Nata Samrat surely, and not just the actor, but even the director. Mr. Mahesh Mangrekar is also a name to reckon with. Nagra Nandule as a director because of Fandry, but the cast was completely new. So there is no particular formula as such which I think works. I think content is still the king as far as Marathi films go. If you compare uh, Vish Manjhe Vish to any of the other films that are being released now, which most of them I haven't seen, unfortunately. Till. we launched the trailer i'd seen the film on all sizes of screens yeah with the audio uh, at the edit studio at the audio recording at uh, the uh, at the di but we when we saw it on di of course it was a big screen but it was in bits and pieces at the final sound recording it was again in bits and pieces it like okay oh this sound effect is not right so just rewind our let's do it when do, on the audio launch day on the trailer launch day we had a screening for some of the cast and crew members who had come and that was the time i first time saw the film on the big screen and it was over to say the least i mean i I I was wondering oh did this happen <laughs> did I did did I pull this off so it was that kind of uh, I'm completely satisfied and I don't see a reason why people who watch it whoever has seen it between family friends uh, they've always come out said that there are some great moments and there there are some moments where we felt a lump in the throat. 
it wasn't intended it never was thought that okay we going to give these guys you know too many lumps in the throat or you know make them cry weep never intended but the kids and everyone has performed so beautifully it was fun it was really fun working we didn't have to much brief the kids at all we used to all sit at breakfast together acha aaj kya karenge aaj aisa karenge waisa karenge ye karenge wo karenge ha chalo let's go you know it was that quick so funnily uh, it was my debut film it was avinash's debut film runmai also had done bits and pieces in films but some of the kids had done seven films some had done four films one of the boys went on to do the young yashwantrao chavan so they were like veterans there and we were trying to direct them where they were saying that ha theek hai kar ya na let's go it's it was that uh, good so maybe the audition then the choosing of character yeah. it wasn't it wasn't intimidating because uh, one has handled kids before and uh, in advertising also this keeps happening but they were not the what do you call them uh, the over smart types they knew what they had to do and they were doing it very simply because they they had done this before or they knew how to uh, get it done this time so it wasn't like ha mujhe aata hai aur tum kya baat kar rahe ho there, there, there was no attitude in it so i think that helped i really don't know it depends on how things pan out after the release of this film there are a couple of uh, ideas there are a couple of storylines yes there is there is something in hindi there are there are a couple of subjects uh, for marathi as well i mean there are basic stories which can be of course the hindi ones can't be done in marathi because they require higher budgets the audience also has to be much wider because the budgets are higher so so hey plans hey <laughs>